You know, it sure seems like someone pushed the pause button on spring this year with some of the weather we've been having lately. The mere thought of a warm fire in that bed of red embers sure seems enticing. Now, imagine a whole state park surrounded by that crimson hue, filled with tales and adventure, and you've just described a retreat to the Valley of Fire. Valley of Fire State Park is Nevada's first state park. It dates clear back to 1935. It has nearly 40,000 acres of bright red sandstone, all nestled in the heart of the Mojave Desert. The main draw of the valley is to marvel at the array of unique geological formations of sandstone and limestone, along with the petroglyphs that were left by the native Anasazi tribes of this area. These days, there are several easy hikes. If not from the campgrounds, they are very close to it. But according to Brett and Dory Paris, the hike through the heat of the day is well worth the views. The scenery is absolutely incredible. The uh, petroglyphs were super cool. A little yeah. bit of history there to check some, you know, check out some history. My favorite petroglyph was the foot by far. It was, it's a perfect shaped little foot carved into the rock. Yeah, those stairs going up to the petroglyphs are awesome because, you know, it gets you up there where you can get right close to them because if you didn't have the stairs, you wouldn't be able to get to where you can see them. So it's, it's neat that you can climb up there and, and see them up close. My favorite petroglyph would have been the uh, guy standing on top of the ledge with a spear over his, uh, you know, over his shoulder standing up, looked like he was ready to hunt some deer. And all the petroglyphs actually were very well defined and you could see them really well. I was very impressed. This park features two campgrounds with a combined total of 72 units. Each of them offers shaded tables, grills, and restrooms. There are also RV hookups available at select sites, but one of the park's best features is that it is open to camping and day use seven days a week, 365 days a year. Many people visit the park for the rich history or the magnificent views, but one of the main draws for campers is that there are many mellow hiking trails within a very short distance of camp. It was a lot of hiking. I think we put on a few miles on our new hiking boots. Surprisingly, it is quite warm, especially today. The sun is out and it's over 60 degrees, so definitely need a shower once we get back. <laughs> Now for those seeking something a little more daring than hiking, there are rock formations that are rigged and suited for climbing and repelling. To the immediate north lies the Logandale OHV trail system, where full-size four-wheel drives and UTVs can play among the bright red rocks and velvety red sand. Around every corner there was something new, so it was very exciting. As our friends have discovered, with so many options, you might just have to extend your stay or even plan a return trip. It's the second time we've been here to Valley of Fire. Uh, even spending the day here, we didn't get to see everything. Uh, and so we'll have to come back again. Definitely. And that's this week's Where To Adventure. Where To? Valley of Fire State Park, Nevada. I'm Terry Wood.